Here's your news around the Pacific. I'm Technical Sergeant Amanda Sampson. In the Republic of Korea, soldiers with 1st Battalion, 67th Armor Regiment and 1st Battalion, 77th Armor Regiment conducted training on the FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank missile system. The training is designed for soldiers to gain experience with the Javelin to increase lethality and combat efficiency. Acting Defense Secretary Patrick M. Shanahan recently spoke at the Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore, where he explained the U.S. vision for security in the Indo-Pacific. When we talk about preparedness, we mean having the right capabilities in the right places to respond to crises and to compete with and deter high-end adversaries. The United States does not seek conflict, but we know that having the capability to win wars is the best way to deter them. We want to ensure no adversary believes it can successfully achieve political objectives through military force. To that end, as part of a broader department-wide modernization, the U.S. Department of Defense is investing significantly in the next five years in programs critical to ensuring a stable and secure Indo-Pacific. This is a major step to technologically scale capability and capacity on behalf of our security and yours. On Okinawa, Marine Corps Installations Pacific Fire and Emergency Services trained alongside Kadena Fire Department rescue technicians aboard Camp Hansen. The urban search and rescue training is designed to engage scenarios of possible terrorism and structural collapse due to the environmental elements presented on Okinawa. That's your news around the Pacific. For more stories like these, like and follow your Department of Defense Facebook page. See you next time.